Hello YouTube, welcome back to another episode of the Cro-Magnon server. My name is Cliff, and today we're going to be uh, taking a look. We're going to do a little bit of talking today. Um, I've been gone all weekend. Uh, I was real busy, so I missed a big event. There was a dragon fight, and I'm sure you can see some fo some of the footage on somebody's channel. Um, again, the all of the members will be in the description. But... Um, yeah, after they killed the dragon, they did extend the borders, and they also added a death counter. Which I haven't died yet, so... But that, that'll probably change soon. <laughs> I don't know. But here we are at spawn. I just wanted to see what has changed. Um, it looks really cool here. Uh, I see we got some access to some dark oak. Is that dark oak? Or is that just some custom trees? It looks like dark oak. And we have a nice bridge here. Now, hopefully I'm not spoiling too much. I'm not going to look at things in depth just in case. But that's pretty cool. You guys can speculate. Uh, it looks like kind of maybe a boat or something. Oh, look. Return of the CFC for some chicken. Oh, there, I see something nice over there, too. A little little bridge here. I like this bridge. I think uh, Matt built this one. It's real nice. And we have the insides here. I want to see if they changed uh, anything down here. Uh, not really. It's still, this place still looks the same. Okay, let's go back up. Woo! And we're back outside. Okay, let's go ahead and jump across the water here. And make our way around. I'm not seeing any shops just yet. But, um... Was this island always like this? I don't remember. Uh-huh. So this is what? I'm... I'm kind of interested to see how this works. Let me ask. Uh... Never mind. Uh, I'll just- I'll just try it out, maybe. Some chickens are leaking. And a lot of clicking action. Hi, chickens. I wonder if I could throw these eggs at somebody. <laughs> I don't think anyone's around here. But we have a uh, ender chest here. Oh, this is the stuff in my ender chest. Never showed this. I got this while fishing. And I grabbed another wart from spawn. A few goodies. Um, this is a bow I got from the community chest. I was like, wow, somebody put this in there? I'll take that. It's real nice. Um, that's about it. I don't think I have anything super great, super impressive. What's this one here? Actual spawning area of Enderman. Don't break it. Okay, so uh, there's a design created by Matt. Um, you can check out his channel. I believe he is the inventor of this awesome uh, mechanic here. But you can see that there's Ender Pearls spawning here. So I believe they just keep coming. Let me see. If I, oh gosh, how do you how do you throw this away again? Um, I don't think you can. I know Control Q takes out a whole stack, but I just want to see real quick if this is. Yeah. You see, it's still coming. They're still coming. Look at all these Ender Pearls. So that's real neat. You kind of get unlimited Ender Pearls. Um, I'm just going to leave these. I'm sure it'll be okay. They won't be missed. I don't think. Right? <laughs> I hope. Okay. Well, anyways, let's go ahead and... Oh, if you want to check out uh, the process for this design, please check out Matt's uh, video. Um, I know him and the crew spent a lot of time building this, and it's very impressive. It's I'm going to enjoy using this in the future. But for now, we took a look at Spawn here. I'm going to go ahead and head back. Oh, I also have some bad news, guys. Oh, no. That's the bad news. My boat is going to break. We're going to have to swim all the way. No, I'm just kidding. But in all seriousness, I do have some bad news. Uh, unfortunately, I was informed that um, we have a neighbor. And... Okay, that's that's not really bad news, right? <laughs> it's not nothing wrong with having a neighbor, but it's uh 
I, I live right above them. They live underground in a cave. And apparently I live right above them. It's, it's Matt, Matt's base. So we're going to have to scrap. You know, I said that I wanted to build farms underground and, uh, you know, maybe branch out a little bit. Uh, we're going to have to scrap that. We're going to have to stay above ground because uh, we don't want to occupy his, um, his cave, man cave. And we'll have to, I don't know if I'm just going to keep this a small build make this look nice and maybe just use it for beginner storage supplies and some basic basic farms like something like this right here something small like that um that's one option or i can make some more miniature islands for it to host the farms i'm not exactly sure um i'll have to think about it or you guys can let me know what you think but uh yeah it'll be a this will still be my spawn home. It's not going to be the main base though. Okay, so uh, what I wanted to do today was I wanted to dress this place up a bit. Um, I'll show you the roof that I did from the inside first. We've added a little detail in the roof, in the ceiling. I just kind of removed some of the half slabs where I, they don't need to be. Um, I don't know, it's, it's, it's okay. It's not like great or something, but... It's, it's okay for me. I'm not like the best builder, so. Let's go ahead and take a look at the top here. I believe I left some steps here. Yeah, here we are. Oh yeah. So this is kind of the roof here. Um, this is supposed to be connected. Did I destroy that? I must have destroyed this. There's supposed to be half slabs here. Um, we'll fix that off camera. But what I do want to work on today is leafing this place up. So right now, it's pretty bland. Um, you have like a flat gra ground here, and you have a building that's, it's, it's okay. It's not like super terribly interesting. It's only one story. Um, and one way to dress it up is to use leaves. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, oh, I, I forgot gravel. I need to put some, like a walkway here. So I'm just going to start leafing this place up a bit, um, or as Corrales would say, put some bushes. I like to put some bushes on my building. Yeah, something like this. And we're going to have to remove some of these bushes too, because we're going to... I have plans for a fireplace right here, but for now this will do. Put some more like that maybe we got plenty so I guess I'll talk a little bit about um, what I did over the weekend for those who are interested while I do this um, I went to Tokyo Game Show uh, that's probably too much right here I do have shears I'm gonna get some shears real quick yeah I went to Tokyo Game Show and it was um it was awesome um, I went with a a bunch of co-workers um, we don't really hang out too much outside of work, so it's really, it's really interesting. I'm um, hanging out with them, especially uh, half of them weren't even gamers, <laughs> so I was like, "Wow, okay." Um, but yeah, we went to Tokyo Game Show and we had a blast. I brought my wife. Um, I did take a picture on Twitter just to show like proof that I was like, "Yeah, I'm at Tokyo Game Show," you know. I guess we're not sleeping. Um, and it was. It was fun. It was really crowded. I don't know if you guys have ever seen pictures of Tokyo Game Show. There's there's like a lot of cosplayers. There's a lot of uh, games that are, you know, the mainstream AAA titles as well as the indie stuff that appeal more to the Japanese audience. Um, it's crowded. Um, it's not too expensive there unless you buy like a lot of merchandise and all that. But uh, yeah, I got to play Bloodborne. And that was that was a pretty awesome game. Wouldn't say that I'm personally gonna buy it, just because I'm kind of picky with games. But it's definitely a nice action uh, action style game. If you like that kind of stuff, I'm gonna put some bushes like hanging here. Yeah, it was there was some uh, disappointing things about the game show, and. That is that I didn't get to try everything I wanted to try. 
Um, and it's all, it all has to do with timing. Um, you have to, you have to be patient and you have to kind of wait for the lines to open up. Cause what they do is they, they, they allow like X amount of people to get, go into a, a demo. Like I wanted to play evil within. It's a scary game. I want to play the demo for that. But unfortunately when I went to the line, they're like, no, we're sold out. Give me the X, you know, crossing their arms and saying, no, um, Let's take a look at this real quick. That's better. Might be a little too much over here. <laughs> ah, who cares? Let's keep it. We'll take maybe that out. But yeah, they're giving me the big X, like saying, "No, we're sold out. Uh, you, you can't, you can't go in." And I was like, "Oh, come on!" But then, like, come to find out, like 30 minutes later, my buddy got in the line. Uh, we didn't all stick together. Uh, we split off a little bit. But yeah, 30 minutes later, he texts me and he's like, so he's in line and all that. And it's like, oh man, I missed it. So, yeah, timing is everything. They like close things off and stuff. So it's a little disappointing. I didn't get to play Evil Within. Um, that's one game I wanted to check out. And I didn't see Silent Hills there, which is another scary game. Um, I wanted to try that out or see something about it. And the last thing I wanted to really see was check out was the Oculus Rift, which again, they were sold out or whatever, so, oh well. Maybe next time, if there is one, because that might not be in Japan next year. But yeah, um, that was Saturday. We, we left the house at like 7 in the morning and I didn't get home until like 8 o'clock at night or something, 7 o'clock at night. It's a long day. I'm gonna put this one. Okay, let's uh, let's dress this up a little bit more. Let's um, I would like to have like a dirt here or gravel, but for now let's work on some fences, fencing here. I think I'm gonna go with uh, maybe here. And just kind of outline the house a little bit. This torch is in the way. Um, let's keep going. Uh, like this. Yeah. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and do this side as well, real quick. Maybe I should just do it randomly. Less structure? I don't know. Probably a bad idea. But yeah, um, so Saturday was Tokyo Game Show, and that took up all my day. I didn't, when I got home, I was exhausted. There are, another thing about Tokyo Game Show, there are barely any seats at all. So you're pretty much standing and walking and waiting all day um, for hours you know hours on end so that's that was a uh, you know it was exhausting I got home I wanted to play Minecraft but it's a bag I gotta rest let me go get some leaf here I'm just gonna throw this down all around here I might make a path here so we might mow the mow the lawn later Oh my goodness, where did you come from? Gosh, man. I have a visitor. Probably because one of the torches it took out. Maybe it was on the roof? Right here? I don't know. But yeah, um... And then the next day, um... Sunday, uh... If you guys don't know, I, I do uh, capoeira. I don't know if you guys know what that is. It's Brazilian martial arts. It's kind of like a dance style, uh, fighting style. It's pretty fun. It's really, it's like a free, what my, um, one of my coworkers calls it. It's like a free, a free fighting style. Whereas like, you know, like, um, other martial arts are more disciplined and you have like certain things you do in a very, strict structure i don't know if that makes any sense but like how do you say this like what you you do a lot of drills when you do like traditional like karate or something 
you don't really get to have so much freedom with just all your moves. Um, so that's, that's kind of what it is. It's like martial arts, but you're kind of free to do what you want uh, within reason. It's got to be capoeira moves and all of it. I don't know. Um, I'm not really the best at explaining martial arts. <laughs> so I'll just uh, say what I did. Um, I On Sunday was my batizado, which is a big ceremony. Oh, I want to put like a tree here maybe? Or here. Yeah, we gotta get a tree here. It's getting like getting a little too leafy. Let me get some... Uh, should I do a custom tree? Tell me I have saplings. Yeah, I do. Got plenty. But yeah, it's it's a it's a big ceremony. It's huge, huge ceremony. It's the most people I've ever seen at a, a what they call a hoda, which is like a it's like a meetup where you where you um have like a sparring match, which is what we call playing. We play capoeira. But yeah, it's the most people I've ever seen in Japan. Um, I think there was like 200 people all crammed into a small room. Two different, or like many schools, but there were like two big schools. One of them was my school, and a lot of audience. Yeah, it's not too bad. We'll keep that for now. Maybe a bigger tree. Yeah, never mind. I'm gonna take this down. And we um, what the batizado is is it's a ceremony um where. One school, whoever's hosting the Batizado, gets their belt. And, or gets an upgrade in belt. You know, they test for their next belt. Ah, that's lame. Okay, whatever. Um, yeah, and that was my school. So, I, uh, participated. I've been doing it for 10 months. Um, and I finally got my first belt. So, I was really happy about that. I was, I was really nervous because there was a ton of people watching. <laughs> like 200 people man just all watching you and it's like oh man uh yeah but we flew some of our mestres from from brazil so they came all the way down they flew uh, all the way over here to japan and you know they gave speeches and they they participated and showed off a bit it was it was awesome it's good times they really uh livened up the audience too with their cheering and motivation so I was happy about that, but um, yeah, that took that took up the whole day as well. That took um, I don't know, like again, I think I we got the I woke up and left at seven, and I got home like at six thirty or something at night. So, okay, this is this looks pretty decent. Um, I'm missing a an entryway. Let me check this out. Yeah. Um, make a pathway here. You kind of see. So that's that's pretty decent. Um, let me know what you guys think. I might take these torches out. Actually, I don't like them there. We'll have to figure out another way to light this place. Yeah. Okay, maybe something like this. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the interior. Maybe we can add. See, I did farm some pumpkins because I wanted to use that for lighting inside. Um, I don't believe I harvested these. Yeah, sorry this is a, a pretty raw episode. Um, like I said, I've been really busy. Um, I've also been kind of hooked on, I'm sure you guys have heard all about it. There's a lot of hype and all that. A game, a PS4 game called Destiny. So I've been playing that. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see some footage with that. I mean, I can probably... I don't have a... What do you call it? A gamer... What do you call that thing? Um, you know, where you, you record... What's it called? Where you record a PS4 footage through the computer. Man, it's, it's bothering me that I don't know, don't remember. But anyways, um, I, was, I don't have one of those, but I do have... You can stream from the PS4 straight to Twitch. And I was thinking I could just make a private stream and, and highlight it. Gamer card? Game capture. Capture card. That's what it's called. Right? Yeah. Okay. So, let's put these here. This is just to add some lighting here. And dress this up a bit. Like this right here. This 
This was going to go to a mine shaft. I think we'll cancel that, but we'll still put that there. Because all the diamonds are going to be gone. Matt's rich, man. Probably cleaned the house. Okay, so we have this. That's good. What should we have here? Ooh, I know. I want to make one of those coat racks. How do you do that? It's like a... Let's see. You need like... See, I know you need sticks and... Maybe a slab? One of these slabs? Sorry my inventory is so messy. I should probably clean that. That's something I would probably cut and do, but... We're doing- we're going raw today, guys. Yeah. Alright, let's get that. Uh, was it something like this? No. Like that? Oh, snap! There it is! Okay. It's my first time making this. Um, I don't need yellow flowers. I do want to put some flowers here. Do I have any? Before we do put that... Yay, we do. Okay, put get you, get you, I'll just use it all for now. Um, okay, let's see, let's put, let's put a flower, should we put the flowers on the outside? Maybe like here, and here. Maybe like a tulip right here. How's that look? Let's randomly place them. Ah, this one's too far. I want it actually closer. We'll take this one and we'll put it like here. Oh yeah. And then we'll put one here. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I don't like that. Maybe we'll just put one here. Up two there. Kind of hides it, but when you walk through, you'd be like, oh, there's another one there. It's cool. That's fine. Okay. So we are back in here, and I wanted to place one of these here, like a coat rack. So we'll place that there, and I could put my armor. If I want to be like, I'm home, you know, take off my pants and get completely naked. It's totally what I would do. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I think I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, it was kind of a rambly episode. So I apologize if you found it extremely boring. Or hopefully you didn't fall asleep. But uh, thanks for watching guys. I I will be returning next time with... Um, I don't know. I will have to think about what I want to do next. I'm going to try not to die. Um, maybe we'll explore the terrain. Because I, said, I did um, say that the borders have expanded. Um, we're not gonna pick a place yet to build because, uh, what do we call it, we still have to do the wither fight, I think, and we, once we finish spawn, I believe, it's gonna be increased even more and more. So, and I don't even know if, maybe during that time, there might even be an additional event to increase it even more, so. I wanna wait until we have, like, a huge area to pick from. That way we can get, you know, a good spot with a lot of space, because my base isn't going to be small. It's going to be like maybe four or five times this size, this island, I think, at least. I don't know. I might be exaggerating. I'm not sure. But anyways, uh, I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this nature. Um, I do like the nature, so... It looks kind of cluttered, cluttered. It's kind of my style, so sorry about that. But do let me know what you think, and I will talk to you guys next time. Thanks for watching. <music>